It's become a part of our society now where cancel cultures are everywhere and they want to erase our history. We're now just supposed to pretend that slavery never happened, whether or not it's relevant. There's been a bit of a cult following where all these situations and cartoons are supposed to be forgotten and we can just move on and pretend everything is perfect. Even adult TV isn't safe, not even food products such as syrup. Taking Aunt Jemima from the product that's been there for years, I think does more harm than help. Hiding history doesn't change the fact that it happened and sweeping it under the rug is just a slap in the face to those who were killed and lived as slaves. Like we don't want to remember that time, yet they lived it. They deserve to be remembered, not forgotten. Some of these stories and designs are questionable, but like any movement, it was a long time ago. As many of you know, Space Jam 2 is being made, with the Looney Tunes returning except for Pepe Le Pew, due to the controversy of him supposedly stalking a woman, which is a cat. But back in my day, the comedy did come from him mistaking her for a skunk. And she didn't want nothing to do with him because of his smell. It's a popular trend now, classic cartoons are being rebooted, like Garfield and now Space Jam. But anything that doesn't fit in today's standards is taken away. Speedy Gonzalez, who also won't be making an appearance, either due to him being a stereotype of Latinos, even though many of them have claimed to have loved the character. Looney Tunes isn't the only ones getting removed, as Disney Plus is now facing the same backlash as Peter Pan, with the Indians being referred to as Redskins in the film, and Dumbo with the crows resembling black people and the Aristocats. There's still several titles that portray and over-exaggerate their certain characters for entertaining purposes. Recently, the DC standalone film Joker, where it portrays a mentally ill person, is dangerous, when in reality it's not the case. It's nothing new to cinema, and especially horror, when there's a killer, chances are he's mentally insane or slow, like Halloween or Friday the 13th. Pop culture has honestly become overrun by overly sensitive people who always felt the need to voice their opinions without considering the outcome that every company movie or show is entitled to. Eventually, all these brands will be so watered down that nobody will be able to enjoy anything. If you're one of those people, stick to Nick Jr. With all the trouble that's been brought up, even with it being so lately presented, decades after the release, why stop there? Beating the Beast and Little Mermaid could easily influence someone to be aroused by the idea of bestiality. Sounds crazy, right? Mulan for cross-dressing, Hocus Pocus for witches kidnapping and killing kids. It's not even mentioned the 90s Nickelodeon shows. I could go on. Now that's a good idea. I could run for mayor. The colored mayor, that'll be the day. You wait and see, Mr. Carruthers. I will be mayor. I'll be the most powerful man in Hill Valley, and I'm going to clean up this town. Good. You can start by sweeping the floor. I can just leave the old material alone and just learn from the past and... Just don't do it again and it'll be fine. Or simply just don't watch it. So that's my thoughts on the movies that have gotten so much backlash. Do you think these accusations are racist or prejudiced? Do you want to have more say in what your family watches? And do you think they should be cancelled altogether? I want to know your thoughts. Comment down below and let me know. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.